Why hello there, Hector Deville here once again. In this specific video I'm gonna show you how I personally go about using a sequential profit target levels on my own trading. Now, the idea here is to cash out partial blocks of your of your trade, okay? Let's imagine you enter the trade with, uh, I don't know, let's say four lots, okay? Four lots of the euro against the American dollar, all right? Well, the idea is that you are not going to exit all those four lots at once, but instead you are gonna be exiting, uh, let's say, one lot at a time at different levels, all right? And the reasons of why I like to do that is to offset the risk. Let's imagine, well, let's imagine you are trading this trend, okay? And, uh, well, you trade a bounce of the dynamic area of support and resistance, that's your entry, that's your stop loss, and you place your profit-taking level right there. You enter four lots there, and uh, obviously, well, you put your stop loss for also all four lots in there. And let's imagine you want to exit all four lots up there. Well, what happens if price, even though it may it may indeed take off in your direction, but what happens if price falls shy of your final target and instead it turns around um, midway through the trade and finally hits your stop loss? Well, you've simply not only given back all those profits back to the market, but eventually you are actually scoring a loss. So the best course of action here is instead of you know aiming for the whole home run exiting four lots at your at your final target how about if you exit one lot here then one lot there then one lot there and eventually one lot at your final target so um, if price decides to simply turn around midway through the trade at least you've cashed out profits in there then some more profits in there, then some more profits in there, and if you are ever to score a loss on this trade, you will only score a loss on the one remaining lot uh, out of the out of the whole four. All right. Obviously, you will score profits in this uh, in this lot, then more profits on that lot, and more profit on that lot, and you will simply score a minor loss, a partial loss on this final. You know, on this final lot, okay? So the idea, uh, in a nutshell, is to offset the risk, okay? Why would you put all your eggs uh, on one basket by shooting for one single exit position if you can spread the risk in four different levels, all right? Trust me, I've tested this over and over and over and over, and always the best results over time is to uh, you know um, diversify your risk by selecting multiple exit levels uh, uh, sequential profit target levels is an approach that's followed by most of the professional traders I know okay and there's a good reason for that again part of trading or uh, you know a, a, a part in the uh, success of trading is in diversifying your risk as much as possible, all right? And uh, and as far as, pro, as, as as far as your profit target levels goes, the best way to die to do that to diversify your risk or to offset your risk as much as possible is to simply again use a sequential profit target level approach. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you on this video. All right, um, here is how I go about uh, exiting my trades in a sequential manner. Um, first of all, uh, let's imagine that's my, uh, uh, you know, this is the swing I am trading. I spot the, uh, the bounce of the dynamic area of support and resistance and right there is, you know, upon again, spotting the bounce and let's assume I find a valid entry there. That's where I click on my buy button. Okay, my stop loss obviously goes just immediately below the uh, bounce point or alternatively below the 50 simple moving average, whatever your choice may be. Well, uh, my first target or, you know, the first element or the first level at where I exit a portion of the, uh, of the trade is always related to the previous swing high. 
that's the previous swing high there, right? So I simply extend that level and I exit few pips before reaching the, uh, that swing high. Again, uh, I don't know, let's say five pips, okay, before reaching that level, five, ten pips, depending on, on the time frame you are trading. If you are basing this trade off the one hour time frame, then maybe five pips is okay. If you are trading off the daily or even the weekly time frame, then you may want to stretch that down to let's say 10, 15, 20 pips. At any rate, um, you want to exit a, a significant portion of the trade before hitting the previous swing high. Why is that? Well, because this level has already proved, uh, has already, uh, it's already proven to be a, uh, a resistance point. I mean, price already topped out at that level on the previous swing, right? So if this level already worked as resistance on the previous swing, why shouldn't it work as resistance once again? And therefore, why shouldn't it price bounce down off that level once again, effectively forming a double top? Okay, a double top, I'm sure you've seen plenty of times, a double tops or double bottoms on your charts. A uh, double top is nothing but price confirming a resistance level. A, resi a previous resistance level, right? Whenever price confirms a previous resistance level, well, there you have it. That's your double top right there, right? So how do you protect yourself and your trade, obviously, from that? Well, by exiting a significant portion of your of your trade immediately before hitting that level. Again, five, six, eight pips before reaching that level. So if price upon testing that previous resistance level again. Obviously, you've cashed out by then a significant portion of the trade at that level. If price turns around from there and finally hits your stop loss, at least you've, you've secured these many pips in profits, okay? At least you've made money on all these many pips. Sure, you may lose these many here on this remaining portion of the trade, but well, you more or less come up to break even or even come up on top by a little bit, all right? Uh, that's how you protect yourself from this eventuality of, you know, facing a double top. Now, how much do you exit at that level? My rule of the thumb, always 50%. Okay, 50% of your trade at the previous or before hitting the previous swing high. On this bounce here, you would exit 50% of the trade right there. So let's imagine you took the trade with uh, three lots. Well, you want to exit 1.5 lot right there. And yes, most traders do allow to close fractional lots. That's okay, no problem there. Again, 95% of the Forex brokers out there do allow you to close partial lots. If your broker doesn't, well, shop around for a better broker, as simple as that. <laughs> okay, this is uh, 2010. It's been a long time. Brokers do allow you to open and close fractional lots. All right, so again, 50% of your lot size at the previous swing high. And then the remaining portion of the trade, okay, the remaining, uh, let's say, uh, 1.5 lot, or at any rate, the remaining 50% of your lot size is to be uh, exited in three different chunks, in th three different blocks. And I'm going to show you a uh, indicator that I use myself as usual. It's been customly coded by my programmer, but at any rate, um, I'm very glad to, you know, share it with you guys. It is my very pleasure to, you know, share my stuff with you. Um, this indicator plots three projection levels basically what it does is it takes the dynamic area of support and resistance and according to one well, sp specific algorithm i'm not gonna share the <laughs> the secret <laughs> the secret recipe here but you know it's uh, enough to say that it simply projects the dynamic area of support and resistance as per one specific algorithm and well it gives us three target points so you want to divide that 50 percent of the trade in three different farther blocks, um, exiting a little portion of the trade, let's say out of that 50%, so if you have 50% of the trade remaining on, you know, uh, running on the market, well, you would exit maybe 20% there, then another 15% there, and another 15% at the final target, okay? So 50% here, then let's say, I don't know, uh, 20, then 15, and 15 all together 
a hundred percent obviously and well by the time if ever your price reaches your final target you are out of the market uh, you know out of the uh, trade altogether and all the trade through you've been cashing out little portions of the trade all along so again should price turns, turn around at least you've made money here you made money there and you would made money there and you only have a little portion of the trade running um, please mind that as price as the swing wears on the higher the chances that eventually it will run out of steam every swing eventually runs out of steam and i'm going to stress this guys i have to repeat it i'm very sorry but i have to repeat it every swing eventually runs out of steam and eventually it always turns around it's just a matter of when you don't know when that's going to happen but it is indeed going to happen so it may happen here it may happen here who knows it may happen up there you never know so well why not you know you should you should indeed protect yourself from that by cashing out little portion uh, little portions of the trade all along all right now let's go in today into my actual uh, forex trading platform and i'm going to show you the indicator uh, in a minute all right uh, here we are on my charting platform we are now looking into the american dollar against the chf the uh, swissy all right the swiss franc on day four hours time frame what do we see here well we have first of all obviously the three simple moving averages all right the 30 the 50 and the 100 nothing has changed there but um well we can also see a colored area here as per the dynamic area of support and resistance okay uh, basically once the three simple moving averages uh come in order you know pointing in the same direction blah 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 uh i simply asked my uh my uh programmer to somehow m color the dynamic area of support and resistance in blue in light blue whenever they are trending conditions you know come in place from here from that point on the trend begins and therefore the indicator begins to track or to color the dynamic area of support and resistance in order to well wait for uh, for uh, well potential bounces of this area all right uh, moreover you can probably see three lines there right three lines there those are the projection the target projections i was talking about before okay now um let me actually uh, show you the uh, the uh, indicator uh, by the way the uh, trend filter indicator is that one that one down there i believe you are already familiar with that one as you can see on the four hours time frame uh, they uh, well the indicator is calling an uptrend with that green circle because we are indeed uptrending right Right. Oh, by the way, this uh, this second indicator, you know, the one with the colored uh, dynamic area of support and resistance and the, uh, the, the target projections is this one here, the uh, 3SMA uh, indicator. By the way, you can apply that on any time frame of your choice, okay? No matter whether you are an intraday trader, a long-term trader, or if indeed you are like me and you like to trade every single um every single time frame you can use this uh, indicator no matter your time frame of, of preference anyway let's dig into this indicator let me click on the edit button well first of all the colors you can choose the colors here okay uh you know to uh, look or to you know tweak or edit the indicator to your likings and here on the inputs tab uh well those are the three uh, simple moving averages the 30 the 50 and the 100 and down here we have the risk profile all right number one is conservative number two is well you know uh, medium uh, risk and number three is aggressive you simply enter here whatever risk profile you want to follow as a trader either number one again conservative you simply click on it uh, double click and a punch in at two if you are let's say a medium risk trader or if you are indeed a conservative uh, sorry an aggressive trader simply punch in at three what does what does it do well uh, if you are an aggressive trader and you enter a three the projections will be pushed up by well yet another algorithm a little bit farther up so right now i believe it's set to one so i'm gonna place it to two and you will see the uh the projections bump up a little bit please as i click on the accept button please mind the projections one two there it goes do you see how they jumped up a little bit up so once again if i click on edit and now i 
click on three and I click on accept, there they go. They jump up a little bit more. Okay, so depending on how aggressive or conservative you are with your trades or with your trading, you may want to, you know, tweak the indicator, uh, searching for further profits up high in the swing or if you are conservative, the indicator will simply uh, uh, call you to close the trades, portions of the trade, a little bit earlier on in the swing. Okay, for the time being, I think I left it, yeah, two, three. Uh, they are le the risk profile is left at three, meaning an aggressive setting. Uh, it doesn't matter. Like I, like I say, it depends on you. So. In, uh, in this uh, specific situation, in this specific uh, scenario, where would we place our targets? Well, let's review that together, shall we? Uh, let's imagine we are trading this bounce there, all right? Uh, we take our trade anywhere in there, our stop loss anywhere in there, or below the uh, 50 simple moving average, all right? And uh, we are to, obviously, the trade moves in our direction, and we are to, uh, well, to define our exit levels we need to define where we want to exit the trade well as usual the first area to take into consideration is the previous swing high so what we are going to do is to mark a horizontal line right off the previous swing high and we are going to exit 50% of our trade okay uh, right there let's imagine we took the trade with uh, I don't know six slots all right six slots of the American dollar against the Swissy right there so we uh, want to uh, locate uh, or to exit three lots immediately before reaching the previous swing high right there we exit three lots so at that moment we would only have three lots remaining on the market three lots running on the market for further profit where do we exit the, those remaining three lots well we divide them in three small blocks let's say one lot each we would exit one lot there as price actually let me zoom in a little bit more Okay, so three lots go out there, then as price touches the first band, the first projection band, we exit one more lot, then right there we exit one farther lot, and eventually price ticks, okay? Price finally touches our final uh, projection band, and that's where we exit the, uh, well, the sixth lot, right? Three go out there, the fourth goes out there, the fifth one goes out there, and uh, very shortly after the sixth and last lot goes out there effectively please mind how if that's our entry right there how we've made this uh, many pips on three lots this many pips on the fourth lot this many pips on the fifth lot and this many pip on the this many pips on the final sixth lot okay we are progressively cashing out our profits out of the market securing banking our profits as the swing moves along in our direction before it collapses again it always collapses i mean my goal with this projection band indicator as you can see is as accurate as, as accurately as possible to pinpoint the uh, the uh, full projections of the swing. I've worked extensively with my pro with my programmer, uh, working uh, quite many hours on on well on this indicator. And as you can see, it's rather accurate. But you know uh, the markets, as I always say, they are not perfect. You know, uh, who knows? Price may uh, run out of steam there, and your final profit tech, uh, taking level may never be hit again. Uh, this indicator is rather accurate as far as calling the projections in a trending scenario, but like no other indicator, you know, like like any other indicator, I mean, it's not perfect. And well, why would you risk uh, shooting for the home run if you can secure some profits along the way? Okay, that's the thinking here. And, and trust me, it works. Okay, so I do recommend you to uh, follow this approach. Now, uh, what about if... I, uh, let me go back into the indicators, edit, and I'm actually going to go into a conservative uh, approach. Let me click on accept. And as you can see, the uh, indicators uh, bands, the projection bands are pushed down. That means that the, the indicator will, you know, kind of advise or, you know, recommend to 
cash out little portions of the trade earlier on in the swing again because we are following a more aggressive uh, sorry a more conservative setting now i'm gonna zoom in once again and as you can see the first target is to be reached before the previous swing high okay uh, that doesn't that doesn't matter okay we are still going to be exiting 50 percent of the trade around that area so if we are to if we know that we took our trade right there with six lots okay we know that three lots are going to are going to go out at that level no matter what all right so we still have three lots left to you know spread uh, among these three different lines so again one lot would go out there then another lot would go out there then three farther lots would go will go out at that moment at that level there and the final sixth lot will go out uh, at that point all right again no matter where the uh, projections ban uh, the projection bands come in okay as the swing evolves no matter that you will still uh well uh, you will still base 50 percent of your lot size around the previous swing high okay okay now a uh, few things you should be aware of if you decide to well to place this uh, to uh, you know put, use this indicator on your on your own charting platform first of all the dynamic area of support and resistance is colored in uh, in blue if we are in an uptrend or in red if we are in a downtrend okay blue uptrend red downtrend right uh, obviously as, as i already mentioned uh, you can edit the colors uh, at the indicators properties window right uh, second the projection bands okay the, uh, the, the these projection bands there are only valid if we are in a trend in a scenario so if price is flapping sideways and you see a projection bar a projection band there or there that doesn't mean that you should uh, trigger your long entry shooting for those profits either up there for long entries or down there for short entries this indicator assumes that you are trading with the trend okay and therefore it assumes that we are indeed in a trending scenario uh, please mind that this indicator simply calculates you know or some type of algorithm and projects the dynamic area farther up in order to calculate the swing projection tops right so if we have no dynamic area okay if uh, you know the moving averages are not in place uh, they are uh, sorry they are not in order they are not parallel to each other etc etc then the projections in themselves lack any meaning whatsoever okay so please only uh, shoot for these projections if we are indeed in a trend in a scenario i mean the whole system assumes that we have the trend in our site okay so obviously you know the projection bands in themselves are no exception and finally finally i am sure a few of you are already thinking uh you smart fellas you are already thinking hey hector can i go short can I reverse my position at the uh, projection bands? I mean, can I search for counter trend trades at the projection bands? Um, I'm sorry, but no, you cannot. You cannot do that. Uh, even though I've tried my very best with my uh, coder to find this indicator as accurately as possible, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, marking the uh, the uh, swing highs, the projection for the swings, and as you can see, it is rather um, uh, you know rather accurate. The project, the uh, swing highs usually come within the projection bands. Again, I've tried my very best to uh, code a, a rather accurate uh, indicator. Please mind the nature, the uh, philosophy of the system as a whole. This is a trend riding system. Why would we use a tool? that's been um how would i express this in english um why would we use a tool that's been coded with the trend in mind in order to search for counter trend trade it may uh, counter trend trades it makes no sense it's like going against the nature of firstly the system and second the tools developed for the system right so uh, if you decide to tweak your sys to tweak this system in order to search for uh, counter uh, for counter trend uh, trades of the uh, projections 
uh, you are on your own here okay I'm not gonna be able to answer any email or I'm not gonna be able to provide any uh, support or to you know help you in anywhere or to teach you anything regarding this system because then you will be tweaking the system on on your merry willing okay on your own choice and again that's just that's just not my system anymore all right um, and that's basically it. I'm, I'm sorry guys I had to get it out of my chest I hope you understand <laughs> but um, anyway uh, you can find the download link to uh, download this indicator uh, under this video again you are very welcome to use it please uh, download it with my compliments I hope you enjoyed it bye bye um, sorry guys, just one final note before I forget. Uh, please mind that, uh, well, not every trend is the same, right? Some trends uh, do carry a little bit of, well, extra momentum, extra volatility, so to speak. And therefore, uh, on, well, uh, they, they, uh, the swings, they, well, each individual swing may be carried out farther away from the dynamic area of support and resistance, okay? If that's the case, such as, for example, in this trend, as you can see, they, uh, the string extreme points overshoot the projection bands but by quite a fair bit, okay, by quite a little bit and therefore it's not a bad idea to simply go into the indicators properties window and readjust the risk profile, okay, just because, well, it's a good idea to adjust the projection bands to each individual, uh, each individual trend, so uh, let me go for from one to three all right, there we are. And now, do you see how the projections hack? They, uh, well, they uh, swing uh, extreme points uh, much better, okay, much more accurately. So, like I say, it's not a bad idea if you uh, either, well, compress or extend the projection bands by using the risk settings and to, uh, well, adjust each individual trend to its right settings okay it's not a bad idea like I say some trends uh, do have a little bit more of momentum some others well you know some others are a bit more conservative and you want to adjust your projections to each individual trend all right so that's another way on how you can tweak the uh, well this is specific indicator to uh, well squeeze as much or as many peeps in profit out of each consecutive swing that's just my recommendation all right okay guys cheers bye bye